Hey guys, so on the 23rd of June 2019, um, I headed up to Chorley in Lancashire in the UK and um, for the Ellie Beth Designs, um, Ellie Beth is run by Rachel Blundell and she is a um, planner sticker shop based here in the UK. Um, she runs um, an annual gathering, meetup, I want to say planner event but it's more of a creative event um, every year and um, I went last year and it was a lovely lovely event and I was really really pleased <laughs> to be invited back again this year and so yeah we headed up to Chorley and um, I attended the event which was really really lovely again and I videoed most of the event um, and I thought I would just sort of share a roundup vlog with you guys. Now the footage that you're gonna see um, is um, a little bit of a mix because I did start off the day um, by Instagramming um, and doing Instagram stories of the event um, and so that footage you will see is um, portrait rather than landscape um, so do apologize for that but do bear with the vlog because then it does change to landscape because I suddenly thought what are you doing you should really be filming this in landscape and then you can put it up on YouTube like a proper video so yeah it will change from portrait to um, to landscape which you'll see so there were a few um, uh, talks slash creative workshops. We had um, some artiness and some journal journaliness and some cake decorating and it was really, really lovely. And um, I myself led a workshop as well. Um, none of that has been videoed because um, I couldn't video myself and lead the workshop. <laughs> um, so the video of the, the vlog of the day will end on a picture, just a picture of me standing on the stage to give in my um, workshop. So I was the very last on the day. So yeah, if you've never been to a, a, an event before, a planner event um, or creative event, whatever you want to call them, I would strongly um, recommend that you do, encourage you to do because they always leave me feeling like really inspired and really creative like and full of energy and everything so yeah totally recommend it so yeah i'm gonna stop the intro now and just let you watch the rest of the footage which hopefully gives you um a bit of an idea as to what to expect at like a planner event but also what we got up to at the early beth event enjoy <laughs> Look like this. All this. 
<laughs> you tell like coffee. It looks like this. And this is something I shared the other week. Because recently my self-care has been a journey to make sure I'm looking after my body. And I think that's part of it, self-care, is making sure that we are um, able to do all that we're meant to do, yeah? So mine looks a lot like putting my trainers on and going and sweating it out at the gym. And I am not a natural gym bunny, you know? No. I'm the one that's in the corner, the sweat pouring down my face, the hair going all out, all different angles. <laughs> um, but still there, still doing it, because I want to make sure that I'm able to do everything I'm meant to do. And I want to be there for my children, and I want to make sure I'm as healthy as I can be. It also, my self-care, looks a lot like this. She says, hoping the watch is going to work for her. There we go. Yes, it can look like that. <gasps> Toes in the sand. <coughs> And, you know, just spending that time with my family and in places that I love really does refresh me. And I think spending time with those people is just so important. <clears throat> now, small technical fail that you won't know about because I've covered it fairly nicely, I hope, is that there was meant to be a crochet picture there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was going to say that, you know, crochet for me as well is something creative that isn't work-related. And I think having that outlet is so, it's just been really important to me. It lets me unwind, it lets my brain relax. And um, people say to me, how do you manage to have time? I just couldn't do that. How do you have the time to make these things? I'm like, well, it's because <laughs> I make it a priority. And I make sure that I have at least five minutes every day just to do something like that for me, whether it's knit a couple of rows on a sock or do a row on a blanket or just something. Um, and it just lets my mind just unwind and relax and wander off. And often, I find that I am then more, uh, I was about to say more better, no, I am better equipped to then deal with all of the other stuff because of doing that. So, self-care doesn't have to mean going and doing something on your own. It doesn't have to mean going and sitting in a spa, although there's nothing wrong with that. I love a good spa day, you know. And please, if you can go and do a spa day, do it. But it's doing something that refreshes us. And so today, you've all chosen to spend the day here. And I know that for some people, that's going to have been quite an easy decision. But for others, it may have meant making arrangements for other people to cover what you normally do on a Saturday. You know, whether it's childcare or looking after others. Um, it might mean that you've decided, you know what, I'm going to spend some of my money on myself instead of somebody else. And that... I think can often be a bit of a, oh, I am going to be worth this, so hats off to you. Um, or it can be, you know, swapping your work schedule around, whatever it's been. But for all of us, it's a choice that we're here, we're not somewhere else. And that means that I hope that today you're going to find a day that refreshes you, a day that sparks some ideas, a day where you can connect with people you might have only talked with through a screen before, because that's the beauty of these kind of things. We actually get to meet in person. And a day when you can just take a breath, you know, get that breath back, refocus, and just enjoy being creative. And I'm really glad that you have made that choice to be here today, because we are going to have a fabulous day. So, what I'd like to do now is I would like to welcome the very lovely Geraldine, who is our first workshop leader. She says, I'm just going to try again. There we go. Yay, there we go, it worked. And so Geraldine is a mixed media artist. She shares her journey of self-discovery and creativity on her blog and social media and her Patreon page. And she's going to take us through a session on the art of allowing. So let's give her a warm welcome, please. Hi, everyone. Okay, so um, I thought that I would talk a little bit more in depth about self-care because when we say self-care like Rachel just went through <coughs> we think of um, the spa looking after our bodies doing things for ourselves but I would like to break it down a little bit now um, I have I will be handing out these sheets so it's like a transcript of what I'm going to be talking about today plus um, your exercise um, points at the bottom as well so, what is the art of allowing? The art of allowing is the art of no longer resisting well-being in your life.
who is on your table, so just hang on to those for a little moment, um, because I'd like to welcome Natalie Bowers. Natalie is someone who, she not only talks the talk, she walks the walk, um, is when I was thinking about her, and, and how creativity is so crucial to self-care. Um, if you already know her from her YouTube channel, which is Crafting Out Loud, and uh, Instagram of course, um, you'll know that's true. So she's going to share a little of her personal experiences with us in our next session, uh, which is titled How the Light Gets In. So please give her a really warm welcome. Hello, uh, it is really lovely to be here today. Thank you, Rachel, for inviting me to lead a workshop and do a talk. For those who don't know me, my name is Natalie, and I describe myself as a paper crafter, a media mixer, a memory keeper, a bullet journaler, a storyteller, a depression survivor, and a wellness explorer. So that's me. <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, that basically means I sit in my she shed on my shoppist, which is my craft room, and I splash a lot of colour around, I make things, I record YouTube videos, which you I share. Like it, yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> process and my recovery from mental illness. Some of the things that I make in my she shed I sell, such as greeting cards, and I've got a little stall at the back with my greetings, greetings cards there. I also do design team work for various paper graph companies and I was on the Ellie Beth Designs team for six months last year, which was brilliant, and stickerating my bullet journal is still very much my favourite thing to do in the evening. I guess we can all relate to that. <laughs> so, over the next, I think, 40-ish minutes, I'm going to talk to you about my recovery from mental illness and the role that creativity has played in that. Now Decorate a couple of cupcakes, 
Uh, one is a rainbow, which you might have guessed with the rainbow sugar face, and the other will be a unicorn.